and be welcome to another episode of Let's Develop with Maven in Eclipse. Today I'm going to talk about how Maven manages dependencies in repositories. As Maven is actually all about dependency management, I think it's very important to have at least a rough idea of how Maven does the dependency management in Maven repositories so that you can actually debug and understand what's going wrong if a dependency resolution does not work as you expected it to. So as an example, let's take my two projects here from uh, my Let's Develop Game Loop and my Let's Develop Conway's Game of Life series. What I want to do as a next step in the Conway's Game of Life series is to use the game loop and therefore I want to declare a dependency from the Conway's Game of Life project to the game loop uh, artifact. So as we learned in the last episode about managing dependency in Maven, I can easily open the POM file, say add dependency and add here the game loop. This is looked up, say okay, compile dependency, whatever, I add this. And, it's, and as you can see, um, M2E recognizes this dependency as a project in the same workspace, which is indicated by this little icon here. And now my game loop is available to my Converse Game of Life code. Problem is, if I execute that as a Maven build, say run as Maven test, then we can see it's downloading a lot of stuff and the build actually fails. And it fails with the error message saying could not resolve dependency for project, could not find artifact, whoops, sorry, could not find artifact com let's developer games game loop. So this is exactly the artifact we just added as a dependency, which it cannot resolve. Why is this the case? To understand this, we have to take a look at how Maven manages dependencies. We can actually see that in a special view in Eclipse, which you can find on a Maven and it's called Maven repositories. By default, Maven has two repositories. One is called the local repository and the other is called Maven Central. Maven Central is like a, a huge repository of Maven dependencies. It's somewhere out there, the, the server is called repo maven apache org uh, slash maven2. And there's really a lot of stuff in there. You can see if you open that repository, there's really, I mean, a lot of stuff in there. This is like public projects that you can use as dependencies in your Maven projects directly. Then there's your, your uh, local Maven repository, which is by default in your home folder in a, in a folder called .m2 repository. Whenever Maven resolves a dependency during the build, that's all these download uh, things during the build phase, it actually downloads the files into this local Maven repository. And if you re-execute the build the next time, let me just quickly do that. It will try to look up the dependencies from your local repository first. And if it finds them there, it will use them directly without re-downloading them. You can see that there's no single download now anymore because all the dependencies have been cached in the local Maven repository. Problem is um, my game loop thing is of course not on the Maven central repository because I have not published it and it's also not in the local repository. So Maven does not find it when it tries to look up the dependency and therefore fails the build. In contrast to that, Eclipse knows another repository called the workspace projects repository where you can see that actually the game loop is contained. So within Eclipse, Everything's able to resolve the dependencies, but as soon as you execute Maven, um, like an external tool, it does not find the repositories and therefore fails. I hope this gives you a basic understanding of how Maven manages dependencies in repositories. The next time I'm going to talk about how we can actually get our project's artifact into a repository to resolve the build error we faced earlier. For the time being, I hope you liked this episode. If so, give me a thumbs up. If not, drop me a comment, send me a message, let me know what you think. And I hope to see you next time.